Hey y'all, it's Island Coupon Gal. I wanted to show you what I got on Tuesday at CVS using my husband's card. Had a couple of questions, okay, um, that a few people asked me. So I only have two cards, one for myself, one for my husband, for CVS, same thing with Rite Aid, one for each of us. And if there is a coupon that I use a lot of and you're curious as to how I get it, check eBay. Um, I'm sure y'all, you're going to have to read between the lines. I'm sure y'all know um, what coupon I'm talking about. I use them a lot in every single transaction at CVS. I get them from eBay. So hopefully that answers some questions, okay? Um, also, I'm going to try to be a little bit more aware of the fact that um, some people need some help figuring out the rain check double dip. Um, I get ads a couple of weeks ahead of time. You all can do the same by going online to looking at the ad scans on iHeartCBS. I don't know if there's anyone else that posts them, but she does do a really good job of um, going a couple of weeks in advance so you can see what sales are going to be coming up next. That way, if there's something on sale the current week that you can obtain a rain check for, for either a good sale price or an extra buck deal, when it's on sale again in two weeks or so, you can redeem the rain check and get the ECBs from the rain check as well as the current promotion. So that's what I did with the ZZ Quill. In fact, the only reason I got the rain check is because they didn't have it in stock. I redeemed one yesterday. Um, so I did get the $2 extra buck from the rain check as well as the $2 from the current promotion. I also, instead of paying $5.99 regular price, I locked in the $4.99 price. Now, you can also do this promotion. The percent off coupon will come off of the regular price at $5.99. You'll get the $2 back in ECBs. There's a $3 red box coupon as well as $1 and $2 manufacturer coupons. Now, they come from inside product packaging, paper towels, diapers, um, deodorant, batteries, um, you have to take a look at what you've got, but it's either $1 or $2 off any VIX product, and it does not exclude the ZZ Quill like our Procter & Gamble insert for um, September does, okay? So that's that. Also, I look at everything in increments of 20 so that I can use more of the $4 off 20 coupons to get my out-of-pocket down to hardly anything. The whole, the whole key is to at least roll your rewards from one week to the next. <clears throat> Excuse me. What that means is paying whatever you... Okay, let me start over again. Um, getting back as many ECBs as you pay that week. And that means you're not really paying much out of pocket. Maybe tax. My state, they do absorb the tax with the ECB. Some states don't. So that's the goal. It doesn't have to be a money-making week every single week. But using those coupons that I just talked about, using items that will get you up to that next $20 mark for little or nothing out of pocket will help you use more of those coupons. Um, yeah, so items this week that are a really great deal is the Gillette. So spend $30, get $10 back. $7.99 times four. So that totaled me $31, nope. Yeah, $31.96. Okay, I tried to do my own scenario that I had planned already, but they didn't have any stock at this store. So using two of the BOGO coupons, buy one, get one free, $12.99 max value times two is $25.98, as well as your $3 off the ones that you're buying for $6. So you have $31.98 worth of coupons for $31.96 worth of products. So essentially, you're creating two cents in overage with manufacturer coupons. Now, I did use the $10 off any $30 Gillette purchase red box coupon that's expired, but you don't need to for this um, scenario because you're already making it a money maker. Pairing that with the four of 20s, fantastic deal. Okay, so I did find some Derma Silk. They're $9.99. Sylvia let us know that in a few weeks they're going to be on an ECB deal. However, we have been getting the $5 off Derma Silk Redbox coupon printing every day. Um, we're going to be getting a $5 insert coupon next week, I believe, and they're going to be on an ECB deal. Using the 4 of 20 is going to be fantastic. However, I, I didn't know which one I wanted to buy because they're very pricey. These ones are only $9.99. I found loose coupons. It was either at Walgreens or maybe uh, Rite Aid. I can't remember, but it was not CVS. For $5 off any Derma Silk with no size restriction. So I had $10 worth of coupons for an item that was $9.99. The Centrum, this is $6.99. We have a $5 Redbox coupon and a $2 manufacturer coupon, which makes those free. Now, these ones are the 120 count. The 60 count are actually the ones that are on sale for $6.99. They price modified this one because um, yesterday they got their truck in. 
They have not had this in stock yet, <laughs> so they went ahead and price modified that for me. The degree was not marked at 75% clearance. It was still marked at 50% at my store, but make sure you're scanning these at the register, I'm sorry, at the red box, because these are 75% off for $312. And all of us should have a one-year free membership to the coupons.com savings club because of their birthday promotion they have going on. So if you've already done that, you have a printable for either $225 or $250 off of the degree clinical, which makes this anywhere between 67 to 81 cents out of pocket. Simple pleasures are 67 cents. Get a 67 cent ECB back. I did use an expired Redbox coupon, but if you're unable to, it's still a freebie. The Nivea for Men Face, these are $4.99 each. Two of them will total you $9.98. I had two of the $1 printables, which totaled $4, so I paid $4.98 out of pocket and got back five. Now, as I've mentioned before, I think of everything in increments of 20. So this $9.98 purchase was about halfway to 20, which means about half of a four off 20 would apply, so $2. So really, in my mind, I'm thinking this is a $2 money maker, which won't be reflected until the end of the receipt, but you'll get it off of the rest of your items, and it'll help bring your out-of-pocket down so that you're not spending more than you're getting back. The right guard, these are two for six. There's a $2 off two manufacturer coupon that's a printable or from the insert, which makes them $4. And you get back a $2 ECB, so a dollar piece for those. The deodorant, this is my dad's brand, so I picked this up for him. These are two for six. $2 off two manufacturer coupon makes them $4. You get back a $1 ECB, so two for three or $1.50 a piece. The Colgate, these are two for four. And you get back a $2 ECB, which makes them two for two. There are various $1 coupons from product packaging. Some people got, in a couple of weeks ago's insert, a dollar off any four ounce or larger. These are 4.6 ounce, okay? Um, some people got the 75 cent coupon. Some got the 50 cent coupon. So work with what you got. There's also a dollar red box coupon that printed last week off any children's Colgate toothpaste or toothbrush. So that could either be free or a $1 money maker. The Crest. These are each $5.99. When you spend $10, you get back $5. So these two totaled $11.98. So right there, over halfway to $20. So about half of a four off $20 would apply. So anyways, two of the $1 manufacturer coupons, some areas got $0.50, cents, as well as the $1 Redbox coupon that's printing off the 3D White or uh, Pro Health, no, I'm sorry, Clinical Strength. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you have $3 in coupons for which brings your out of pocket to eight ninety eight. You get back five, so three ninety eight or a dollar ninety nine a piece. Now back to that half of a four off of twenty, that two dollars, it brings it down to a dollar ninety nine. So ninety nine cents a piece, essentially, pretty good. The axe. This was a really good deal. These retail almost seven dollars at my store. So these are two for nine, and you get back a three dollar ECB, which makes them two for six dollar printables on each one. Made them two for four or two dollars a piece. Um, again, almost halfway to that four off 20, so about two dollars would apply, makes those a dollar a piece. The Red Bull, these were marked two for four, but they rang up two ninety nine. not a big deal. I got four of them, and then I got my son a, um, a candy. So other items that you might want to think about bulking your total up this week, there's a, an email coupon for a free clear trial size. We've got coupons for Wet n Wild, they're 99 cents. We have coupons for a free Salma Hayek. Um, yeah, so there's a bunch of different ways to get your total up to use more of those coupons. So when it was all said and done, I used a $2 ECB and look, Priscilla, three cents. Not a big old goose egg, but pretty darn close. So I got, I paid $2 out of pocket and I got back $34.67. Now again, two extra dollars with some rain check and I had a few coupons that were expired that did give me a little bit more off, which was about 12 more dollars. But if you can't do these things exactly as I can do them, fill them with items. Like this was $4.99, so that's about $5 worth of stuff to get to the same price point total. So fill it in with things that you can get for free. Palmer's Lip Balm, the AccuCheck Nanos, um, the Wet n Wild Polish, things like that. So that you're spending less than what you're getting back or at least the same, okay? So yeah, okay, and then this, um, this, when I rang it up at the... When I checked it at the red box, it came up for $3.83. At the register, it was saying price not, I'm sorry, item not found. So I went ahead and did this in a separate transaction. Went back and let her um, scan at the red box so she could see the price at $3.83. So they had to man manually enter it in. I used a $4 ECB that was reduced down, paid nothing, got nothing back. But I've been looking for one of these smoothing kits. The one that I got from Garnier on clearance, um, a a subscriber commented that those are really, really bad for your hair. So, honey, if you're watching, do you know anything about this one? I really need to find a smoothing treatment that works for my frizzy, frizzy hair. 
Okay, guys, if you have any questions, I'm going to try to be really more diligent about answering questions and um, creating scenarios that are a little bit more um, friendly for people who can't do expired Redbox coupons. And that's it. So don't forget about the blog, islandcoupongal.blogspot.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.